Oh, we're here at Motodaye Waldkloster, Waldkloster being German for Forest Monastery in the Frankenwald, Franconia, northern Bavaria in Germany. Uh, today, the birthday of the abbot at Anchatamalo. You see they have a very comprehensive solar system installed on their main building. We are quite remote for German standards. Uh, we have a little shade sale where we on Sunday could do the arms round for a bigger event. We had Tantra Kun, Samai and Ajanyana Damo. Jetzt gehen wir mal hier rein. Ich will euch vielleicht die Kammerhalle zeigen. Ich erstmal sehr dunkel. Hier gehen wir durch den Empfangsraum. Hier jetzt müssen wir leise sein in der Kammerhalle. Das rundes Fenster, wenn man schon mal gut ablesen kann. Ja, ein sehr schöner Beautiful Buddha referring to Mucha Linda. Protecting the Buddha from the thunderstorm shortly after enlightenment while he was meditating. That's why you see the Naga covering the head of the Buddha, relating back to that incident. And then the quite special shrine where they have integrated a Buddha Pada, the footprint of the Buddha, into the shrine design. It's quite beautifully done. I like the face of this Buddha very much, very beautiful face. It's flowers. Here the Buddha Pada, the Buddha footprints integrated into the shrine. Let's go back out. Right, you can see the front area, shade cloth. Here the round window with the Dhamma Chakra. You can see Shrine of the Buddha Rupa. Here's the kitchen. Just preparing for the meal happening in another 45 minutes. There's lots of bread here when we go on salt. We have just been on arms salt. And we tend to get a lot of bread. Yeah, where they leave the shoes. And mid June. Spring, actually summer by now, everything is green, we are white in the forest, very remote for German standards. Over here the workshop, Ashen Ottama is working there. Here they have their firewood and green forest all around. Workshop with Ashwin working. And uh, here the backyard. And I'm sticking quite a bit of firewood. The winter, winter can be very severe here. It's known as German Siberia. Often the coldest place on the German uh, weather charts. Yeah, clothesline for the monks. And uh, we can have a quick look at the pond. We have a quite beautiful pond, particularly this time of the year. Here's a little car park. Because it is so remote, they don't usually have that many visitors. There's no really big cities close by. 
Uh, Nuremberg is quite some distance. Uh, the closest known city is probably Bayreuth. Can you open it? Yeah. I have a nice little wheel on the gate. And here this uh, beautiful pond. What more can you ask for, for meditating? You can also jump in, which we're not going to do now. Uh, there's the meditation cabin, right at the pond, with the reflection in the water, uh, the blossoming uh, roses and other flowers, more pink roses on the white, and uh, one can sit in that little meditation cabin and uh, enjoy the view of the pond. Of course in November this would be a different thing, now, this is more for uh, summer meditation. All kinds of creatures uh, living in this pond, little insects diving and rowing with long legs. It's actually very deep, I was told it's some um, seven meters or something deep. And the plants inside, the water plants, are growing very high. We have some water lilies there, yeah. meditation cabin, water lilies, the forest in the background. Very beautiful spot for meditation. Next we can go to the stupa. Down again, a rough home stone. Staircase, uh, good boy, closing the gate properly again. Heavy iron, wrought iron bar. So the Maria, uh, the car park. It's a Tuesday. Not too many people seem to be aware that the abbot has got his birthday today at Chotamalo. Oh, yeah, here's the sign, that may be interesting. Go close enough. If you stop the video, you should be able not to read it all. Informing uh, any casual visitors. There's also long distance walking paths here, leading up to Spain and far into the east to the Baltic States. Workshop. Sometimes people are coming past via this walking path. And now this is the way to the stupa. I have legs. You see how you walk in the lush green German forest in June on a beautiful sunny day. And this is the stupa with the Buddha statue on top, sitting on top of the stupa. It's a very ancient style, more like an earth mound, a tupa, the original meaning, earth mound. And the vegetation is actually uh, roses and other flowers. They are just about starting to flower now. You can see there's a few roses already flowering. And obviously it will look gorgeous once all these roses really flowering. And this is maybe the only or first stupa I've ever seen where one can you know, walk around on grass. Very nice, you know, walking on grass around the stupa. What we're going to do now, circumambulating, keeping the stupa, the Buddha on top, on the white, as is the custom, as a sign of respect. I really enjoy you know, walking barefoot around the stupa, circumambulating on fresh green grass. There's still a little bit of dew from the morning. I can feel the natural drops of water in the grass while walking, very soft, very healthy, 
the best way of walking barefoot in grass and that around the stupa circumambulating is a kind of shrine and uh, the stupa is really being used and I walked here yesterday three members of the community came at different times circumambulating, lighting incense no real fire danger here it's so lush and green and humid from dew in the morning they leave my little gifts behind even casual visitors dropping uh, stones and minerals as an offering as some provisions that they can light candle we continue our circumambulation have some prayer flags and it's just so green i can't believe how lush and green it all is and once these roses come out that will be amazing. Now here, this is right to the east. That is where they start. They're catching the morning sun, which is making them to flower earlier. Walking around once more. And I can show you the wooden kuti I'm staying in. Very happy in there. It's just like you imagine a kuti to be. So far, what I showed was all publicly accessible area. Now this, however, there would be private. So. I can go there as a monk, the uh, I'm staying in, but this wouldn't be privately accessible. I think I can give you a quick sticky beak. There's already how you imagine the walking through these dense forests on a little path, approaching the wooden kuti in the distance. Yeah, and this is how you imagine a forest monk's kuti to be, isn't it? Timber, well insulated for the cold climate here in winter, a little veranda, rough horn, stone masonry work in front, trees all around. And I'm very happy in there. 